Here, come over here. Right at the tunnel. Hi. Hi, outrageously small kitten. Hi. Hi. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, I don't know if you remember, but I made a video about a kitten with pneumonia, and this is the kitten with pneumonia. It has been actually several weeks, or at least two, whoa, uh, at least two weeks. No, I think it's been three weeks. Um, and right now they're having free time. I will say the pneumonia baby and her sister, I'm not actually sure if I ever said we found her sister, I don't know, um, but we did. We found her sister, like, not too long after we found her. This is her, that's her sister. Nuts. Nuts. Um, the pneumonia baby has got, like, other stuff going. Not contagious. Say, so I'm just tiny. I'm little. Um, you see how big her sister is. Uh, but they are on free time and getting to know, this is the second day that they are getting to know. This is the kitten that was, that, that lives in this playpen in the evening or overnight, um, that was rescued at the TNR project with the bottle babies. I've explained that too. Well, I've started giving them free time together. Uh, well, it's going to be hard to film them because we're in the main part of the house. And they can go wherever they want for now, for a minute. Oh, but I was really wanting to film her. Oh, are you going potty? Good job. I was really wanting to film the little one in the tunnel because it's so cute. Because she's so tiny, but she is like fierce. Like she's mean, not mean, but like she doesn't take anything from anybody. Like she's not scared of anything. I'm not scared. Hi. Hi. Here, go in the tunnel. Normally, she's like jump. She jumps on top of the tunnel. It's hilarious. Oh, what is it, Meerkat? Are you stuck? What are you doing over there? Oh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Look how much bigger and watch this. Oh, is she not going to do it? No. All right. Normally, when he does that, she'll, like, grab a hold of his neck with her jaw. Like, she'll chomp him in the neck. He doesn't, like, really play rough with her because she told him yesterday not to. And he listened. Chica. Don't worry, guys. Chica doesn't have any teeth. Chica, be nice. Hey, what's happened? Hi. Hi, little one. Hello. Bye-bye. Hi. 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 H
that you? Oh, that you? Oh, look at your tail. Ow! That was my toe. That was my toe. Here, look up. There's no guilt. Well, I'm going to actually put the camera away for a minute and, like, go walk away. Um, and then see if I can sneaky film because I really want to get this little one jumping onto the top. It's hilarious. She's so small and she just does not care. What are you doing? Hercules. What are you doing? Huh? Hi. Okay. I know everybody's like, get the kitten off the... Playpen, da, da, da. they both love it. They love this. I have tried, I tried to keep them from doing this. But if the little one, here's the little one. Look out how, how dirty. This is the food. Cause see the food ball. Like he, Hercules will jump and land there. But what? Say it's just as much my fault because if Hercules is out running around. This little one will like holler and cry until he comes and like jumps on the playpen. And they'll play with each other through the net. Yeah, don't you? Say it's just as much my fault. Now, don't worry. I do let um, the little one out. Uh, but you can't let them out at the same time. Hercules is twice his size. And Hercules plays very rough. Um, I don't know why. I mean, he's not mean, but he plays very rough. And the little one just gets overwhelmed, like gets scared. However, they love to play through the net because Hercules can't bite him on the neck, which is what Hercules does when I let them out together. So what I usually do is Hercules is out in the morning, and then I have him a little play area set up in the spa, and I put him in the spa while this little one gets to run around. And he is so patient. Like, he knows it'll be his turn. Um, and they'll just play. Here, come on. And sometimes they'll nap together, like Hercules will be laying there, and then the little one will lay here. He's really cute. I know. He's just too big. He's too big. Hey. Are you too big? It's because I'm over here. He's not playing. Look how dirty that sign is from the food. Oh, you're gonna get down. Now watch, he will probably start crying. Well, maybe not because I'm over here. But if I wasn't over here, he would start hollering for him to come play. Oh, you can't. What? What? There you go. What are you going to do? Oh, I thought he was going to jump. See? There they go. They do this all day. Oh. Okay. I just thought it was cute. We received some goodies. I am so thankful for these deliveries. Um, I'm thankful for all deliveries, but these came um, right as it was starting to snow. Um, it is still snowing. <laughs> I don't know when it, I don't think it's ever gonna stop snowing, um, but it's just been a mess. It's been hard to find food. Um, so, but you know, I have a, always have a stock of food. So, but 
most of the time it's not their favorite foods or it's not the ones they eat as good as I would like. So I was really happy to see these. Okay, we are going to start. Miss Randy Josh Emmett sent us, um, first of all, some baby food, which um, she sends all the time and I'm so happy for because I use it. It is, I don't know what I did before I started using baby food. I honestly don't. I mean, look at this. I have already used, anyway, I use it quite a bit. I love it. Um, it is one of my favorite tricks of the trade. She also sent a 24 pack of Fancy Feast seafood, which really saved me. Um, I had some, but you know, I didn't, we didn't know we were going to get snowmageddon, so whatever. But this is Grace, um, the mama cat's favorite food. Like she eats it so much better than any other food. So I was very happy to see that. And then there is a, a butterfly ours. We had one of these. It finally bit the dust. Um, but the kittens and the big cats love this thing. Uh, they're scared of it. They're always scared of it at first. It's kind of cute. But then that once they get over it, they love, love, love it. So that'll be fun. And then she sent a thing of Dawn. There are four Dawn um, and then I think two sponges in this bundle. Uh, I was out of Dawn. I go through it quite a bit, not only for dishes, but for fleas and washing little babies. So we go through Dawn quite a bit. So thank you so, so much for your supplies. Oh, hope it's gonna play in the box. Uh -huh. What do you do? And excuse the bag of trash back there. It's, I'm, it's so cold, y'all. Like it was literally two degrees, literally two degrees. And then the windshield was like negative something. It is so cold that I like try to make as little trips as possible outside. Oh, it's freezing. Anyway, and then Miss Lisa Havaka sent us some supplies as well. And she sent over a thing of the um, Delights chicken, turkey, and ocean whitefish with cheddar. Big, huge favorite. It's empty because it's a huge favorite. And then a case of the turkey and cheddar, uh, which we are going through. <laughs> and then um, a thing of the four-in-one power pack. For the dishwasher you can you can I'm sure you can imagine how often the poor dishwasher runs um, a lot so I'm excited about those and then a uh, box of one mil syringes and a box of three mil syringes and oh my goodness I cannot even begin to explain the amount of syringes I go through. It's really, it's really insane. Um, but I'm very happy to see them. Um, and the three mil, I only have like two or three left. So that's very good. Uh, because now that we're doing big cats more, the three mil is what we use for any, you know, any kitten or cat over I would say probably three or four pounds. So that is wonderful. So thank you so much, Lisa, um, for your gifts. Gina sent us a bunch, a bunch of food and I'm so excited um, about it. And it, I should have organized it more, but I'm tired and I'm lazy. So, so exciting. She sent over three bags of dry food, um, a Purina One Tender Select Salmon, and one is chicken. I don't actually know. Um, they eat both really, really well. I don't know if they have a preference for one or the other, to be honest with you. Um, I, I normally just have chicken on my list because... 
I like chicken better than salmon. <laughs> like that matters. But I don't think they actually have a preference. Um, and then a bag of the Blue Wilderness Kitten Chicken, which is a staple. Uh, use it all the time. And then she sent over a 40 count box of the, what I call the original Frisky Shreds. I know it's, that's just what it is in my brain. A case of the Turkey and Cheddar Frisky Shreds. A box of the Frisky's Ocean's Delight. And they are shreds, like little bits. And then two boxes of the seafood and chicken pate, um, which actually a lot of them, like I, I don't get this box very often because I forget it exists, to be honest. Um, but uh, the chicken and tuna and the salmon are both big hits. Um, and I'll tell you, one of Prim's favorite foods actually is the salmon one, which Prim is so weird that it's always great to have some of her favorites. And then in the Fancy Feast, she sent over a, a classic pate, a poultry and beef grilled, a seafood grilled, and then this is a kitten classic pate box with all of the flavors, which is great because I didn't have any kitten food when this came. Um, and I am actually really proud of myself. This has not been here very long, so I haven't, like, usually, unfortunately, I'm, like, done with everything, and you're just seeing empty bags and boxes, but I did really well this time. I'm very excited, and then she sent over an antiseptic spray, which is antifungal, antibacterial, and anti-yeast, um, this spray, any of the sprays that have the chlorhexidine and the ketoconazole, I use quite a bit, um, to be honest, because this stuff is great for anything skin related. Um, the ketoconazole is the fungal and the chlorhexidine is the bacterial. Uh, I would assume the ketoconazole is yeast, too. I'm not sure. Maybe together they do yeast. I don't know. We don't have a big problem with yeast here, but we have a huge problem with bacteria and funguses. So, I'm excited to give this a try, and I'm just very excited. Oop, that went blurry. I'm just very excited to have so much food. I used to, It's really funny because I probably get as much food as I always have sent to me. However, we have done, we have uptake like how many cats and kittens come through. So I hardly ever have like a supply. <laughs> it's like I'm always having to order more. So thank you, Gina, very, very much for the food. Um, I'm going to now sort it and